can I help the environment? I'm only one person. Greg Kuchan here with the Greenhouse Group. Now that one question crosses my mind quite often. I try to live a green lifestyle, practice what I preach. So when I started looking into installing rain gutters into my home, it got me to think, how can I repurpose that water? Now, rain barrels, they're inexpensive, easy to install, and even better yet, there's a government rebate on them as well. The city of San Diego is refunding $1 per storage gallon of a rain barrel, up to 400 gallons per property. That's a $400 savings. So I did a little digging, found a little research, and uh, looked around at rain barrels. Now for, uh, to qualify these rain barrels, they must be purchased from a store, you can't hand make them, homemade, um, and they must be 50 gallons per container to qualify, again. <clears throat> So I found some really cool rain barrels on a couple of websites, and uh, they came out to be around, say, 65 to $80, depending on how fancy you want to go. So with that 50 gallons, about, say, $65, it's a $50 saving. So really, you're only paying $15 per rain bale after the rebate. That's pretty good savings. <clears throat> so now, once the rain barrels are installed, and you get to think, how much water am I actually going to catch? You know, how much may, is the rain going to give me when it falls? So an average roof can collect about, say, about 0.6 gallon per every one inch of rainfall per one square foot on your roof. So let's make math super simple. A thousand square foot roof or one inch rainfall, <clears throat> that can produce about 600 gallons of water that you can collect in your rain barrels. Now, the San Diego County has an average of about 10.4 inches of rain per year. So let's just call it 10. So that comes out to be about approximately 6,000 gallons of water a year that you could collect. It's there. It's just falling from the sky. You just got to get that rain barrel out there. Collect it. Now, what this can do for the environment is that <clears throat> when you're collecting that water, it's preventing soil erosion, and it's also preventing sewer and storm drain runoff, okay? All that water running off your house, going in the alleys, picking up all the street gunk and gunk and pollutants just are sitting in your alleys, okay? And that's really bad for the environment because those storm drains, there's no filtration system for that. It goes straight into the ocean out here in San Diego. So if you got those rain barrels out there, that means you're collecting that water. It's not running in the street, so that means less pollutants being dumped into our oceans. Now, once you get into the ocean, that's a whole other topic, but there's tons of benefits without dumping too many nutrients or pollutants out into the ocean, okay? So, on top of it all, you now have about 6,000 gallons of free, fresh water to use. Maybe you could start a garden. You know, all that water you collected has not been treated by the city, so that means no chlorine, no other treatment chemicals in there, which is ideal for a vegetable garden. Good, clean water produces good, clean food. Now, thank you guys for listening. If you have any more questions <clears throat> or you want to know more of my green DOI solutions, feel comfortable sending me an email at greg at greenmeansgrow.com.